What are these show of strength rallies all about? Well, look, it's about putting something on the public agenda, really. For the last couple of decades, we've seen access to our bush increasingly restricted. We've seen public lands gated off and fees imposed for things most Australians consider to be a birthright. In many cases, it's simply because of a lack of resources. The people who manage public lands don't have the resources to repair the damage done by that tiny percentage of idiots who think the bush is their private dumping ground. Parks rangers across the country tell me that the main reasons fires get banned, for instance, are because morons still chuck empty bottles or cans into fireplaces. That means broken glass and sharp metal. I mean, that's dangerous to everybody. Then there's the idiots who'd rather dump a trailer load of rubbish up a bush track than take it to a refuge centre, or the nongs who vandalise facilities because, well, that's what stupid does, isn't it? So the land gets gated off because some bean counter says that's the only cost-effective way of dealing with the problem. Look, their maths might be right, but their thinking is wrong. And Unlock Australia is dedicated to coming up with better ways of dealing with the problems, from educating bush users to encouraging container deposit schemes to making tipping costs free there's always a better way than locking people out. Bush lovers, whether they're prospectors, hunters, fishermen, riders, drivers, campers, walkers, whatever it gets them outdoors, have a basic right to access the bush. It's part of being Australian, and it always has been. For me, and possibly for you, it goes deeper than that too. All my life, the bush has been my sanctuary. This is where peace of mind is possible. This is where I connect with my country. Our Aussie bush, be it the high country or the outback or anything in between, is something I crave, it's part of me. And the fact is, we've been connected with our land for many generations now. The bush isn't just a part of every Australian's heritage, it's the backbone of how we feel about our country. From the first settlers carving out farms and homes, from the bush to the miners to the timber getters, the bush was where Australia grew up, just like so many of us grew up there too. Most Australians are connected to this land as much as our Aboriginal brothers in so many ways. It's our history, our recreation, it's our bush. Now I've got hundreds of Aboriginal mates scattered around this country and one thing I've found is that the concept of country, that feeling of connection to the land, is something the true fellas know can be felt by all who are open to it. Australia is a magnificent land, a country as old as the world itself with so many special places that bring out a deep sense of awe and mystery that, that modern words can't explain. You don't need to be born here. You don't need to have Aboriginal blood. You just have to connect with Mother Earth. Look, maybe I've overstepped the mark here, claiming something for all of us that's traditionally been seen as the property of just a few. If so, I apologise to anyone I've offended. No argument will convince me that my heart's wrong on this, though. It's not where you're born or what your blood is. It's whether you connect to country. I'm presenting this as an opinion, OK? It's my thinking, and I'll take full responsibility for it. But I know that while the wording might be different, I've heard the same feelings expressed throughout this wonderful land by all who feel connected. Rangers, outdoors clubs, lovers of Mother Nature, recreational bush users, as the term goes. Deep down, we're all working towards the same goal, a respect for country that brings a responsibility to. Gates aren't the answer. Attitudes are. Look, Together, we can swing the pendulum back. That's what these show of strength rallies are all about. I hope I see you at Neerham this Sunday, if you can get there. And if you're in New South Wales, well, we're going to be holding a rally in Dubbo, 16th of November too. We'll get there, folks. Just stick by us, eh? We need our bush back. Thanks.